Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, you too. Good morning to all souls. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I just want to come and share a few messages with all souls. This morning, get it out the way. I got a lot this year to do and years to come if the Father give me breath in my body to move around His earth. His earth. His earth. This is His. Everything therein is the Father's in heaven. They're sitting on His throne watching every one of us documenting our works on earth you're not just here by coincidence and you're just not here to do what you want to do the God of this world got a lot of souls programmed and you're not breaking out of the programming you just want to stay hindered you want to become a stumbling block in other people's lives. And many people do it with aggression. Many people do it with intimidation. Many people do it with bullying. Many people do it with the wisdom of this world, which is foolish to our Father. And you can go into 1 Corinthians, and I'm, I'm going to just tap on it. Give me a second because I'm driving. So just give me a second to get to it. When I think it's clear, the road is clear. I like to be by myself. I, I don't want, I thought I had it already ready, but um, I did not. Okay, I've been, I've been in 1 Corinthians 1, 2, 3, and 4, so please work with me. Does Paul speak? early in the morning for me. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get where I need to be. It's work with me. I want to say it's um yes. Yeah, it's first Corinthians three. And Paul was speaking and I brethren first Corinthians three one sorry I talk so fast. We get excited. I know if you met a lot of not a lot but few chosen ones we talk extremely fast like we be trying to get it out so quick like we got different gifts but we talk extremely fast our words get away from us because it's not really about the words and the intelligence that we got from above it's really trying to get people to understand our father in heaven but see for so long satan done covered a lot of the truth and now so many people are confused now like wait a minute even though the word been in this earth for years decades generations nobody really actually just picked up the word and actually study it or picked up the word and challenge whoever bringing it forth to them you just sit in church and sit and be bullied, intimidated. Pastors bully and intimidated. That's where the demons truly are. Because guess what? The White House don't bring forth the word. They might they might bring our father name up every now and again just because. But eventually they're going to stop bringing it up because it's going to be dealt with. But when you go into the church, as y'all call it on earth, as you go into the church, into that synagogue, into that temple, it's supposed to be strictly about cutting away from sin. It don't supposed to be nothing other, nothing less, nothing more. Straight to the point. It should be about our Father's word. But when you got a different spirit that you're rolling with, it's going to be all kinds of things going on. But Paul say in 1 Corinthians 3, And our brother could not speak unto you as unto spiritual but as unto kernel even as unto babes in Christ I have fed you with milk 
and not with me for hitherto ye will not be able to bear it neither yet now are ye able for ye are yet carnal for whereas there is among you envying and strife and division are ye not carnal and walk as men for while one saith I am Paul and another I am Apocalypse I mean Ap um, <laughs> Apollos are ye not carnal who then is Paul and who is Apollos but ministers by whom ye believe even as the Lord gave to every man I planted Apollos watered by God given in increase so then neither is he that planteth anything neither is neither he that watereth but God that giveth the increase everything comes from the father we don't have our own desires we can't bring forth our own desires we can't profit nothing on our own you might think you can somebody might taught you that you can many might tell you you don't need God many might tell you you don't have to believe in Yeshua HaMashiach many might tell you there is no Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit many might tell you that everything you do you do it on your own you gain it on your own or I help you gain it we work by one or two spirits the only spirit that will make you spiritual is the Holy Spirit can't no man tell you about the kingdom can't no man teach you about the kingdom can't no man see what's going on in the kingdom can't no man now man, man can tell you what's going on on this earth because we're living on it. We are part of this earth. We see what goes on, what rolls on, what talks on, what uh, actions go on on this earth. We can see through this technology what goes on in different countries, different cities. It's called the news. Gossiping. You can get much understanding in that because your minds are carnal. My mind once was carnal. But now that I'm spiritual, there's no such thing. I don't want to hear nothing carnal. I don't want to hear a whole lot of beating down in the end and strife and all that other foolishness that Satan bring among humanity and everybody get aroused off of it. No, I don't want to hear it. It's not nothing to hear. It's time to be praying. It's time to help others come out of darkness Rather they put up a fight or not Who cares You can't fight forever And you sure can't beat our father In heaven You can't beat him Because if that was the case When Yeshua came on earth Satan would have defeated him But he didn't He got beat at his own game That he thought he had up some because he thought he was tormenting him. He thought he was crucifying him. He thought he used them people to bitterly abuse him. But he didn't know all of that was to defeat him. That's what you got to understand. That's how demonic souls roll. They empty. They bitter. They full of envy and strife. They full of hatred. They're full of confusion. Even their conversations are get slick with you. Who cares? They can't defeat us. No matter how much they talk. No, how, no matter how much they think that they got it. Or they think they're about it. They're not. They're foolish. Read 1 Corinthians 1 through 4. And read it slowly. Read it so slow that you got to keep rewinding. You got to keep repeating. You just got to keep getting it. Food. Keep getting that living waters within. Keep getting the truth. Because your under y'all understandings is totally wrong. Many people holler, we ain't perfect. We know we ain't perfect. We, we was born into the flesh. We was born into the kernel mind. That was the first gate. We were born into a kernel mindset. That's what makes us not perfect. 
But when we get the Holy Spirit, we are now righteous. We are now unclenched from all sins. That's why we're now righteous. We're not perfect. We're righteous. There's a difference between perfect and righteous. The only one was perfect was Yeshua HaMashiach that walked this earth. He had no sin. Go in Isaiah 53. Read about him. Go in Matthew. Read about him. Go in Mark. Read about him. Go in Luke. Read about him. Go in um, uh, John. Read about him. Go in Revelations. Read about him. Your understanding is bad. You're lacking a lot of understanding. You're misinterpreting the truth. You're misinterpreting what is real. Because you've been just sitting in these churches just doing whatever you want to do. Believing whatever a soul telling you to believe. Believing whatever you think is right. And, 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 and it's just so sad. It's so sad. And then you will get so big headed with it. And as Paul say, excuse me, I, I, I'm barely got dressed this morning. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 3, 16, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwell in you? Everybody is um, on this earth. The spirit of the father is dwelling in you. Not you dwelling in you. Not your mama dwelling in you. Not nobody else dwelling in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness with the Father. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, the wise that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Come on. Wherefore, Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things presented or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Christ and Christ is God's. Stop letting people fool you. Stop letting y'all sitting in these churches just getting fooled by Satan. Because you know what? The pastors got the word, but they not really, 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 really teaching y'all nothing. I heard a pastor say when I was just listening to one of uh, the people broadcasting, podcast, or whatever you want to call it. That pastor was saying, another pastor taught me to keep them ignorant was like what in the world would you why would you even do such a thing why would you even let another man which is the devil the teachings of the devil why would you let another man or you let somebody come the devil through another soul come and have you teaching the sheep ignorantly you got to be a fool when you want to play with the Almighty Father. You got to be one giant fool. I'm going to be honest with you. You got to be a fool on top of a fool. Because what I won't do now, honey, if it got to be feeding the Father's sheep dirt and not holiness, you feeling them def you feeding them defiled food. You're feeding them milk. Lack of understanding versus feeding them meat no matter how smart they sound no matter how big of an attitude they get who cares who side is you gonna do i mean whose side are you gonna be on you gonna be on the lord's side or you're gonna be on satan's side i prefer to be on the lord's side and do what elohim desire us to do if he gave you his spirit you're not gonna do nothing anyways what the world wants you to do because honey the holy spirit is powerful i don't know what type of spirit y'all think the holy spirit is but see y'all been doing it for so long it's been nothing but a big joke in this world to the father well the joke's back on y'all because we gonna we're gonna bring forth the word i ain't no pastor i ain't no preacher i'm just what paul said i'm an ambassador i'm a stork i'm a stork i'm a stork you heard me i am a stork first corinthians 4 let a man so account of us as of the ministers of christ 
and stores of the mystery of God. Moreover, it is required in stores that a man be found faithful. But with me is a very small thing that I shall be judged of you or a man's judgment. Yet I judge not my own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet I am not hereby justified, but he that judges me is the Lord, Elohim, period. Let's get that together, period. We are stores, I'm not a minister, I'm a store. I just bring forth the fruit that was planted in me from the Holy Ghost. I'm not perfect, I'm righteous. Once upon a time, I was unrighteous. Now I'd have converted I'm righteous. Get the understanding. Because when you don't get the understanding, you like it. Then you're boasting and you're bragging. And you're trying to be in competition. And you're trying to kick up against something you can't defeat. Because no one can defeat the word. Heaven and earth may pass away. But our Father word will never, ever, ever in your life and life to come. And life to come and come, come and come and come. Will ever pass away. Blessings.